Welcome back. It is 624. This week marks 50 years since the first flight of the F-15 fighter jet. It is still one of the Air Force's top combat mission planes. Keeping those planes in the air for several decades takes a lot of work and upgrades, and all of that is done at Robbins Air Force Base. I went behind the lines to learn more about the jet and how Robbins keep workers keep it fighting. Welcome to Eagle Country. The elite F-15 fighter jets repaired here boast some of the Air Force's top air combat capabilities. Never lost one in combat from any type of uh, enemy fire. No other fighter aircraft has the capacity to to carry the number of weapons and the size of weapons that uh, that the F-15 can carry. But the rocket's red glare and bombs bursting in air from these planes wouldn't happen without Robbins Air Force Base. 14,000 man hours of work on each of these aircraft as they come in. Maintenance workers take the jets down to the bare bones. Everybody works as a team to, to contribute and, and get the F-15 all the way through that process from coming in, being a fully combat capable airplane to the tear down and then the build back up again. They also install upgrades that keep this jet a superior opponent for any threat. As you can imagine, there have been quite a few changes since the first jet took off 50 years ago. With a new uh, state-of-the-art mission computer, we put in, we're in the process of putting in new radios, um, a new state-of-the-art electronic warfare system. But before a plane heads out, pilots like Scott Smith take it out for a test ride. So that way when the fighter unit gets their F-15 back, it should be as close to an original F-15 that we can make it. Um, should be all repaired and good to go, able to go into combat the next day if we need it. And when these jets fire up both engines and take to the skies, that's one thing that will never get old. You'll hear the sound of freedom and a job well done. Now the F-15 jet is the one you can thank for those sonic booms you'll hear if you're out in Warner Robins. Right now there are a few models in rotation, the single seat C and D models and the two seater E models. The Air Force is also working on a new EX model and all of the repair and upgrade work for that jet will also happen at Robbins.